Hey what's going on guys, today I'll show you how to make a button with this nice cool neon light effect. So here when we hover over this button, we can see this nice glowing effect. And additionally, you can also add this kind of reflection at this bottom that also makes it feel more realistic. So nowadays, this type of button is very trending in web design, especially for this type of dark background website. So I decided to create the same button with Elementor. And by default, Elementor doesn't give you the option to create this type of button. So obviously, here we need to write down some custom CSS code. Okay, now without wasting a single moment, let's see how can we achieve that. Okay, so here first of all, we have created a section and inside this section, you can see a heading widget. Now, first of all, for this section, I want to make it a dark background. So our neon light effect looks better with this dark background. So for this, go to the section settings and go to this style option. And from this background, I want to set a dark color. Okay, this one. And here also for this header, I want to make its color to white. So from here, I want to make it to fully white. Okay, now here after that, I want to add our button. So for this, let's go to this widget area. And this is our button widget. So let's drag this under here. And from the settings, I want to change its text to neon. And I want to align this to center. So make its alignment to center. Okay, now first of all, I want to make the background for this button transparent. And I only want to keep this border around this. So for this, go to style. And from here, here is the background color green. I want to make it to fully transparent. So make it transparent. And under here, let's add a border. So make the border to solid. Here I want to make the border width to 4 pixel. And after that, I want to set a bright color for this button border and text. And obviously, I don't want to keep it to white. So here is the option for text color. From here, let's make it to this color. And now let's make this button a little bit bigger. So first of all, I want to increase the font size. So go to typography. And from here, I want to make its font size to 22 pixel. Let's make it to bold 600 and also change the default font. I want to select here to this one and also add some letter spacing between these letters. So make it to two. Okay, now we need to also add some padding for this button. So I want to make it to 20 or 18 pixel. And on the left and right, I want to make it to 38. And lastly, let's add some border radius at the corners. I want to make it to 10 pixel. Right now, our button looks great, but we don't have this neon glowing effect. So for this, we need to add some custom CSS. So go to advanced and go to this custom CSS option. And here I want to mention that to use this custom CSS feature, you have to have the pro version of Elementor. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can also get this on my link on the description. Okay, now let's paste our code here. And you can see this nice glowing effect around this text and also around this border. That looks really cool. And here at the beginning of our code, you can see a color code here. So here this color code has to be the same code of the code we have used right here. Here if you notice, you can see we have used the same color code. And here if you use a different color like red or green, you can simply copy this color code from here. And you need to also paste that inside this place. Otherwise this also doesn't work properly. Okay, now we have created our glowing button and when we hover over on that, we also want a glowing effect. So for this, we need to again go to our style settings and go to this hover option. And here now on the hover state, I want to make the text color to a black color. So let's make it to fully black and also want to make our background color to this bright pink color. So go to this normal state and I want to copy this color code from here 
and on the hover i want to paste it for the background color so let's paste it here okay now if we hover over on that it's look good but we also need to change the border color so make the border color also the pink okay now it's working properly and right now when we hover over on that we also want a more glowing effect around this button so for this we need to add more box shadow around this button so for this let's again go to our advanced settings and we need to write down some additional custom css okay so after pasting this css if we hover over on that now you can see this nice glowing effect so now it's look like a real neon button like it turn on and off that looks really cool right okay so here you can get all of this css code on my website i also give this link on my description you can easily get that from here so now everything looks perfect but here i want to add one more additional thing here under this button i want to add a shadow basically it's not a shadow i want to add a reflection for this button so it will look more realistic okay so for adding this reflection we need to add one more additional custom css so here let's paste that css here okay now you can see this nice shadow and if we now hover over on this button we can see with this button our shadow is also glowing with this hover effect okay and here if we look at this code for our reflection we can see we have set it the opacity of this to 0.7 and for the hover state we have set it to 1 so that's why we can see this nice glowing effect okay now let's save our page and preview this and right now our button looks really very cool so that's how you can create this neon light effect with elementor so easily and here i have also shown you when to add the css for the different portion of this effect like if you don't like the hover effect or the reflection you can remove that portion of that code basically you can customize it the way you want okay that's it for today if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe it's totally free of cost okay guys thank you so much i'll see you on my next video